Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name is Ahmed Mansour from United Arab Emirates. Uh, um, I'm very glad to participate with you in this event though uh, it's very unfortunate that I cannot be present uh, in person as my passport is held by the authorities in UAE and they are refusing to give it uh, to me. Uh, I will focus uh, in this presentation on the latest development related to human rights situation in UAE and my presentation will be um, focusing on 10 points. The first point that I would like to talk about is the arbitrary uh, detention and the reasons for these arbitrary detention as we see is the uh, fact that people are expressing themselves freely uh, over the internet or um, uh, asked for more representation in the government or because they are member of the Islah Association or if they are activists of, of some sort. Uh, and these arbitrary det uh, detentions, we've seen no arrest warrants presented. Uh, house, uh, houses were searched for long hours. Items confiscate, confiscated, confiscated by the authorities. Um, no, um, uh, not faced with uh, charges. Individuals were not faced with the charges. They were kept in solitary confinement uh, for some time and communicado and in many cases denied even access to their uh, you know, uh, legal consultants. Uh, currently we have 15 individuals under this uh, category and uh, more cases were reported to be there but we do not have information about. The second uh, point is the enforced uh, disappearance. People were taken from their houses to unknown places uh, their houses are raided uh, by large number of security forces wearing mainly uh, plain clothes and arresting people and taking them to unknown destinations. Two individuals disappeared from the jail after arbi an, an arbitrary arrest on the road uh, while they were driving back from Dubai. One of them is a former judge and the other one is a financial expert that held uh, many important positions in the government of Abu Dhabi. Uh, another individual has been arrested immediately after the uh, morning prayer in the mosque it's by itself. Uh, under this category, we have at least five individuals out of the 15 individuals that I referred to uh, earlier. The third item is the revocation of the citizenship. Uh, recently, the uh, citizenship of seven individuals were revoked without charges or court procedure or even um, uh, implementing the uh, procedures called for in the Constitution. Those seven individuals were uh, uh, arrested after revoking their, their, their citizenship as they were uh, asked to find a citizenship of a different country within two weeks or faced an immediate arrest. Of course, they refused to, um, uh, to look for a different citizenship uh, as they do not believe that the action has been taken against them is legal in the first place and they did not want to uh, compromise on that fact. They were arrested and then they are still arrested in the jail uh, in, in Abu Dhabi. Uh, they, uh, they are uh, not allowed to um, be visited by their families or even see their, their lawyer. Their, lawyer, their lawyers um, did not have an access to, to them since then and they are still denying um, uh, access to them. There are seven individuals, of course, under this category, as I mentioned. Uh, the fourth item is the campaigns uh, that we've seen lately, lately of incitement and the hostility. And this started, in fact, uh, since 2011. We have seen this new phenomenon under which security authorities invoke viciously smear campaign against human rights activists and, and um, political activists and reformists. The campaign included uh, design dedicated uh, uh, character ass assassination sites that fabricate news and videos about individuals, disseminate false information about them, and uh, have messages that promote hatred and incitements against uh, these individuals. The material presented on those sites indicate clearly that they were um, uh, organized group behind them and that there are um, vast resources and uh, you know, access to 
private information about those individuals uh, uh, are also there. Uh, the uh, the campaign uh, also used uh, the TV and video of the um, uh, of the state and um, some privately owned uh, uh, TV stations. Uh, they inv uh, invoked the tribes uh, to sign petition against the the activists, and they were uh, uh, motivated politically to do so. Uh, arranged protests and uh, in front of the court to influence the court decision and to entice people against the activists uh, under trial. The case of the the case of the UA five and the UA seven and the other individuals are. Uh, uh, the other eight individuals out of the 15, uh, I mean, uh, are clear examples of uh, this category. Uh, denial of justice is item number five that I would like to talk about. Uh, uh, during those smear campaigns, um, basically we've seen um, uh, many people uh, receiving uh, threats, including uh, direct uh, death threats to some individuals and those individuals um, uh, try to file complaints with the authorities uh, either uh, through their uh, lawyers or through uh, their family members or by themselves but unfortunately the authorities refuse to open these cases to those individuals without providing any reasons and this uh, was tried uh, in fact in more than one emirate uh, it was tried in, in Abu Dhabi, in Dubai, in Ajman and in Ras Al Khaimah and all of them uh, refuse to take these complaints uh, or take them and do not take any any action against uh, those individuals uh, of course no uh, reasons were given uh, whatsoever uh, on the refusal of uh, accepting these cases complaint uh, complaints filed uh, are around or uh, more than uh, 20 uh, that we are aware of the security interference in the judicial system uh, during the case of UA5 uh, reports from uh, spying prisoners uh, used to be sent on regular basis from the jail to the state security prosecutor and then to the state security uh, we came to know these uh, through uh, some of the prisoners who were uh, asked to write reports about us and in fact I participated myself in writing some of those uh, reports about me uh, this is funny but this uh, happened actually uh, while the court uh, hearing was in camera and closed on public uh, close to public uh, security agents were allowed to uh, be present in that court uh, also the uh, judges were chained for three times in that case there were uh, many issues reported in the uh, trial and described by the international observers as uh, fundamentally unfair and lawyers were under uh, constant sur sur surveillances. Uh, their employees at the office uh, were harassed and some of them were asked to leave the country immediately. Uh, flagrant due process uh, violation, denial of right to adequate time and facilities to prepare uh, defense, denial uh, of the right to public hearing, uh, uh, also, the international observers stated that there were, um, or there was a lack of independence and impu impunity. Uh, sorry, um, independence, independence and impartiality of the court, and the, there was a lack of procedural equality and preferential treatment. Uh, also, was there in front of the court, and there was also denial of the right to confront witnesses against them and also there was a denial of the right to appear as the court was a state security court that is not uh, allowed to be uh, appealed and uh, also uh, we've seen cases under which uh, the uh, the authorities refused to release individuals that they were uh, asked to be released uh, by court on bail Item number seven is the interference of the state security in all aspects of life. A circulation by the federal authority of the government, uh, human resources to all the government and semi-government semi -government authorities with regard to the security clearance, uh, the, uh, the circulation number four issued on, uh, circulation number five, sorry, issued on the 4th of May uh, 2009 
and uh, re-emphasized on recently in the newspaper and instruct the governments and the semi-government semi uh, entities to obtain, to obtain security clearance before they recruit, promote, uh, mandate, temporarily relocate uh, or give uh, study or uh, leave or uh, re-recruit or recruiting individuals at higher positions they requested them or instructed them to uh, obtain state uh, security clearance before uh, doing that we have uh, around uh, 400 cases affected by the above uh, circulation uh, additionally we've seen also uh, the uh, disbanding of the elected members of uh, some of the public beneficiary association or the what we refer to here as a social so society or uh, uh, NGO equivalent and replace the elected uh, board with uh, government appointees. The official human rights association in UAE is uh, uh, very much in sync with the government and take no important role in defending uh, rights and freedoms. Uh, last year, 2011, the board of jurist association and the teachers association were disbanded after they, uh, along with other two other two other associations, signed a letter calling for more representation in the government and evaluating the decree of the FNC election. The FNC is the parliament, and the interference of the uh, the state security and civil life in UAE is becoming really outrageous. And here are some examples: uh, calling people for uh, interrogation, preventing promotion arbitrary transfer from job to uh, different jobs or remote locations end of services from uh, preventing from preventing individuals from getting jobs preventing individuals from delivering lecture lectures lectures and uh, also preventing them from promoting uh, preventing uh, promotion of family members uh, and relatives uh, sending people to early retirement preventing uh, people from getting scholarship shutting down businesses and refusing the renewal of business licenses uh, preventing the issuance of the uh, of building permits and uh, land ownership preventing uh, people from uh, appearance in local media and writing newspaper uh, holding passports for indefinite uh, period travel banning uh, fabricating cases against individuals suspending bank accounts sacking family members and relatives from work uh, among many other uh, things that uh, we are uh, noticing in UAE. Uh, item number eight is fabricating charges. Uh, in fact, uh, targeted activists sometimes face fabricated charges and the purpose of uh, such, uh, such acts um, uh, or, or purposes of such acts are uh, number one, character assassination, um, you know, and especially some of them are uh, fabricated uh, cases of indecent acts and so on to keep uh, passports uh, in the custody of the authorities um, as a bail for a long time uh, and to try to, to, to um, put them on, under travel ban, uh, harassments of activists and reformists, and give them uh, and, and give, uh, give up. Uh, and 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 make them examples basically uh, to um, threat other individuals who might think of doing the same. Uh, keep their criminal records active, and in some cases, to put them actually in jail. And the prosecution uh, take a long time before transferring the case to the court uh, by extending the remand for an indefinite uh, period of time. To give the uh, uh, the individuals an advance punishment until the case is transferred to the court and uh, they find you innocent afterward. Uh, uh, for example, one individual uh, spent nine months in jail before he was uh, found innocent uh, by the court. Uh, item number uh, eleven is the stateless, and this is a very long story that I that I think would require to be. Uh, talked about um, uh, by itself as a, as a special uh, probably prod presentation but there is one individual uh, activist uh, from the Bidun uh, who is Ahmed Abdul Khalaq one of the uh, UAE 5 has been rearrested recently on the 20 uh, 22nd of May this year 2011 and he is facing the risk of deportation uh, to uh, 
uh, uh, Comoros Island or to uh, Thailand after he was forced to obtain the citizenship of the Comoros Island. Uh, item number 10 is uh, the report of uh, reports about torture. Lately, there were many reports claiming that torture uh, is being practiced at the state security jail. Uh, an American individual claimed uh, that he was tortured in UAE state security jail by the request of uh, from the FBI. The individual made public appearance in one of the uh, European TVs. Uh, there were many other reports as well uh, claiming that they were uh, the arrest some of the arrested individuals, the 15 arrested individuals, and others were uh, subjected uh, to torture to uh, extract confession. I think I took uh, much more than the allocated time and I hope I gave you an idea about the current situation, human rights situation in UAE and I would be glad uh, later on to receive uh, any uh, questions or clarification that you might need. Thank you very much.